Hey guys, welcome to my first episode of Daylight. I'm going to be doing a playthrough. I've not really looked much into this game at all, but I do know that it's going to be scary, so let's play and find out. Find the remnants of the past. Quick look at the controls. I will be using a controller be a lot easier for me seeing as though my keyboard and mouse aren't exactly the best. Uh, use glow sticks to find clues. Lit flares will protect you. Well. <laughs> ah, good, you've arrived. Sarah, focus. You haven't much time at all. They've been busy. They certainly have. Use that machine in your hand to find your way. There's much to see. Where am I? Oh god. It's been some time now. This place has been waiting for your arrival. Gather up everything you can. The memories contained within these walls are waiting to be found. Sarah, listen to me. You must succeed. Oh no. Prisoner 52 seems to be experiencing visions of shadow people. Doctors on site keep trying conventional therapies, but I believe we do not start I believe we do. We need to start thinking about new procedures that push what we've come up with to date. Uh, please don't be behind me. Oh, them sensitivities. No matter where you go, there you are. Apparently there is nothing over here. Mid Island Penitentiary hires new head physician, February the fifth, nineteen oh seven. Mid Island Penitentiary has recently announced the name of its new head physician, Dr. Walter Mercer. Known as a leader in both smallpox and tuberculosis research, the city of New Kipling has expressed its excitement in having such talented and Oh, no, okay, never mind. Apparently didn't want to read that. Oh, we can sprint. Oh, I like that. Ooh. Loading. The top left there. Oh, chairs. Oh, it's a dead cow. <laughs> Oh, that light scared the life out of me. Oh god. Oh, there's another one here. Mid Island Hospital patient record file. Concerning patient 13. Run. Um, what's that noise? Oh, I don't like this game already. Uh, I'm regretting playing this game already. Right. 
Oh, I don't like how that door opened on its own. Patient age 10 months old is being re readmitted by a foster parents due to odd and frightening incidents that occurred shortly after she left the hospital. Oh my god. Oh, what the hell? Frighten the life out of me. Painting pictures on your flesh. They can smell it. What do you mean they can smell it? Who can smell it? Oh, God. This is tense as fuck. Um. 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 I'm never sleeping again after this. Oh no, why did you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you use another one? Why not just... Why not just pick up the same one you dropped? Uh, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, I've got to turn around now. Uh, let's just look in this cupboard. Oh no, why do you keep dropping them? Patient aged seven years has been exper experiencing a fear of monsters in her room at night. A night shift nurse consoled the patient by reaffirming that it was only in her imagination. The patient subsequently began exhibiting uncontrollable violence toward herself and staff members. The patient has been restrained and transported to solitary confinement. Please pick up. Please pick it up. Uh, Is there anybody in there? Why would you shout? What? Why? Just, just why? Uh. What is that? Uh. Dr. Watkins recommended removal of possessions from patient's room as a means of curing her fantasies. Patients became violent during extractions. She seemed particularly fixated on an old doll and cried for days after its removal. Um, um, oh, it's the fan up there. Oh, God. You scared me, fan. of New Kipling, the village of New Kipling traces its roots to the mid 1600s, the rich fishing source along with easy access to trade routes drew easily settle drew early settlers to the village. I do not like this game at all. What was that? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. The patient is physically healthy but deteriorating mentally, he remains in a straight jacket. I don't like how the music has changed. Um. 
Hello? You don't want me to come this way then, I take it. Don't want me to go that way either. Don't like this game. <sighs> oh, my God, I think I've just shit a brick. We're going to be able to build villages. Um, this is clearly the area where the babbies go. I now have to turn around. The one thing I hate doing in horror games. Uh, I hate this game. Hate this game. Hate this game. Hate this game. Never playing again. Uh, yeah, if there's only one episode of this. Uh, Guys, you'll know why. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. Scariest game I've ever played. Oh no. Well, um. Yeah. Uh, my biggest fear flashing lights. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, I'm not going to sleep tonight. No, fuck you. Go away. Go away. There's no one there. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, why would you put it away? Don't do that. Searchy cabinets. Ah, uh, there's a toilet. Yeah, I'm not going in there. Found a glow stick. Ah, I see it. They've revealed the sigil. Reclaim it and bring it to the gateway. What? Um. Sigil what? No, go away. I can't hear you. There is nothing there. Lies. It's all lies. Patient reports seeing shadowy figures in his room at night. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. That's gonna take the biscuit. Staff responded to screams. Well, yeah. Um. crap anymore. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what is that? Sigil. Is this the sigil he was talking about? What with her in the flames? No, go away. Okay, I'm getting a flare out. Ah. There's gotta be a key. 
Oh, did I just waste my flare? Please tell me I didn't just waste my flare. Yeah, fuck that. I'm done with this game. I'm done with this game. <laughs> right, that's uh, the end of the first episode, guys. Join me back for some more, and uh, maybe we'll we'll swear some more and have some uh, some tears, maybe. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>